Hey guys, welcome to Gardening Upbeat and I hope you are doing very well. Alamanda is yet again beautiful summer flowering plant. The best thing about Alamanda is that it's really hardy and need very less care. In today's video, we are going to see how to grow and care for Alamanda. You would also see the updates of more than 3 years. For example, this is the footage from 2018 and this footage is from 2021. Alright, let's get started. One very important note. See, there are many varieties of Alamanda plants. For example, this one is known as Tiger Alamanda. Right here, Alamanda bush. And this one is Alamanda vine. It's a variegated one and you would also get the plain one. Means with green leaf as well. You can grow any varieties you like. And caring for all of them would be same except one thing. Please keep watching and I will discuss everything. I collected the tiger alamanda in 2018 itself and initially I reported in 118 spot. Later in 2019, I decided to use a bigger pot as the plant was growing quite fast. Alamanda is actually very very fast growing plant. For the potting soil mix, basic soil mix works well and here I am taking 50% normal garden soil, 25% cocoa peat and rest 25% vermicompost. Please avoid using too much compost or else it's going to take much longer time to get the blooms. In my case, I am using a 14 inch pot, but if your plant is small one, initially you can use smaller pot like 6 to 8 inch and you can upgrade the size of the pot next year. Reporting is done and after that please water thoroughly and avoid keeping the plant under direct sunlight immediately. If possible, Try to keep the plant in shady area for next two to three days and then keep under direct sunlight. I collected the variegated alamanda vine last year and reported this in a 6 inch pot. This year I am thinking to upgrade the size of the pot. We are done and now let's take a look at few updates and then we will discuss about the important things. Very first important thing is sunlight. More is always better and please try to provide minimum 5 to 6 hours of direct sunlight. My plant is in balcony itself and we can see that it's blooming quite well. For watering, we have to consider few very important things. See the tiger alamanda needs lots of water and so please keep the soil consistently moist and don't let the topsoil dry out something like this. 
the leaves and flowers are going to wilt very badly if we do so. But for the rest of the varieties, we can water only when the top soil dries out. Especially for the alamanda bush, please avoid watering too much. Leaves are going to turn yellow and then fall off if the soil is too wet. For fertilizers, initially I was applying DAP once in a gap of 2 to 3 months. Avoid fertilizing too frequently or else you would get very less flowers. For the DAP, I used to apply 8 to 10 crystals at once and please note that it was in a 14 inch pot at that time. Nowadays, I don't use too much chemical things and for the fertilizers, I use mustard cake powder and bone meal. For the alamanda plant, we can use 25 to 30 grams mustard cake powder and 30 grams bone meal. Again, please don't apply too frequently and feeding them once in 2 to 3 months is absolutely fine. Other than all the things, you may also like to prune your plant on regular basis so that you can keep them in shape. I usually do it in winter so that my balcony gets more sunlight and winter flowering plants do well. Or else you can also do in spring. For example, just few days back I have done it and here you can see the cute little new growth. I hope this year also it's going to bloom well. Did you know that you are doing a great mistake by not growing the hydrangeas? It's amazingly beautiful and do well in partial sunlight. So if your balcony doesn't get lots of direct sunlight, you should grow it. To know more about hydrangeas, please check out my next video. I hope you found this video useful and if you did, I would really appreciate if you give it a like, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you are new to gardening a bit. Thank you very much for watching, take care and enjoy.